Hey everybody, this is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me in these times that we can share in God's word. I want to give a quick shout out today to Todd Hansen, who is our prayer team leader, who's presently on a mission trip in Panama, Mexico. Todd, I just want to say thank you to you so much for your partnership in the gospel. Thanks for leading our prayer team, which by the way, reminds me, if you need prayer today, we have a prayer wall that you can leave that prayer request on, and we would love to pray for you. So don't hold back today. Go to that prayer wall and leave a prayer request there. We, one of our team, will be praying for you. With that, today we're going to be in Galatians chapter 3. I'm going to read verses 24 down through 26. Paul says, so then the law was our guardian guardian until Christ came in order that we might be justified by faith. But now that faith has come, we are no longer under a guardian. For in Christ Jesus, you are all sons of God through faith. So church, the word guardian here is a choice word. In the Greek language, the word is patigogas. That's a transliteration. A patigogas, or a pedagogue, which is a noun form, was a slave that was entrusted with the responsibility of training a child. But they weren't like teachers who just taught lessons from books constrained to maybe information that they were an expert in. These people served as more than teachers. They were a living moral compass for the direction and the discipline of a child. Imagine how that might change the world today, huh? Pedagogues all over the place. Then when the child was old enough, they eventually outgrew the need for their pedagogue. They became an adult. So now in context, Paul is saying that the law functioned in the same way. The law was a temporary teacher, a pedagogue, responsible for the direction and the discipline of God's children, his people, until Christ came and our justification was revealed. Thus, we are no longer children, little kids parented by the guardian of the law, but we are, notice what he says here, sons of God. We are children of God by faith. Our status is changed. So here is what Paul is telling the believers in simplest terms. <laughs> it's time to grow up, for God's sake. <laughs> You're acting like little children. <laughs> I can actually imagine him saying that to them. Stop subjecting yourself to a way that was. You're no longer slaves. You're sons of God. You're recipients of the promise. You're free from the law of sin. Live by faith in freedom within God's great family and stop going back to the old ways of serving that old pedagogue. I mean, that time is done. Grow up! <laughs> you know, in the spiritual life, sometimes we need someone to tell us this, don't we? So if you feel a little stalled or stunted in your faith today, isn't it time to start doing something about that? I mean, are you going to wait around forever for someone to spoon feed you spiritual sustenance like a child in the faith? Or is it time to grow up, to declare and to find a point of separation from your pedagogue, a point of no return to your childlike ways? And guess what? If you're ready to do that right now, you can do one of two things. You could either declare that there's something that you're going to stop doing forever and never go back to it. Stop doing forever and never go back to it. Or you can declare that there's something you're going to start doing, that you're going to actually build into the fabric of your spiritual life. And guess what? Some of you, you might go over the top. You might do both. You might stop and start. Good for you. Do something. And today, I want you to hear me in this. That's what's important about this moment with Paul. He wants them to do something, to stop acting like little children who do nothing. I love you guys. I pray this has blessed you. If it has, share this encouragement and exhortation with someone else. And I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.